Uh, hello there people, uh, this is Mr. Critic and you're watching my LP of Panzer General. So only my slippers, I'm not, you know, passing winds, sorry. Um, this is Cobra part 7, <coughs> X is turn 6, yeah. Let us do a quick check of the map. It is probably time, you know, for us to start using our fighters. After thinking a lot about it, I have decided, you know, to go for uh, this Marauder and this Lightning. And only use air defenses and anti-aircraft on these guys here. Why? Because um, I want to remain as far away from the Allied airfields. Um, and if this proves to be a bad idea, well, sorry, but you know, um, I do not feel like bringing uh, fighters here, since they are not only in range, in range uh, from this airfield, but also this one and this one. Uh, there is a Mustang somewhere healing its wounds. I'm, I'm not sure on which airfield, but it will probably remain there for another turn since it has uh, it had a, f a strength of five when it retreated. But first, just wanted to make sure if it is safe, you know, to also bring our units closer. First, we will attack this artillery. And see what happens. Okay, some minor damage. But we have forced it to retreat and we'll follow it, you know, to prevent it from reinforcing. Okay, <coughs> and now we'll attack this lightning and bring our air defense closer. Wow, an excellent result. So, we can proceed with our plan. First, we'll destroy uh, the lightning. If this works correctly, you know, we'll also be out of spotting range of all the enemy units. So, also the reason why I'm doing it. Die. Very nice, and now we also destroy this Marauder. It should work. Wonderful. And they are both gone. Just perfect. Um, and I think now it is time to save. So, save. Uh, Cobra 009. Now we are actually quite free to try to deal with this Achilles. Or perhaps maybe we should first attack the artillery, I'm not yet sure. Just to see what happens. Ah, important part ammo. Three. Ah, okay. So probably infantry will not be in a position to attack effectively. At least not until we do some more damage to the enemy. Yeah, so we can start working on this Achilles. That's an obvious one. Oh, bloody hell. Such a shitty result. But we have more inf, so... You attack now. 
<clears throat> Are you kidding? Come on! Now we have to use this imp uh, to attack kill us again. I was, you know, hoping to use it for something else, but... Guess not! <laughs> Come on, please die! <laughs> oh, I hate you so much, RNG, you bastard. Can you please die now? I mean, it's bloody time. Well, thank God, you know. <laughs> it was just ridiculous. Okay, uh, so where to now to place this inf? Uh, here, I guess. I don't want to expose it since it only has a strength of 5. And now, regarding uh, this artillery is here, I need to think about it a little bit. So, so time for the first boss. Be right back. Uh, yo, I'm back. Uh, so, probably we should attack with our Tiger 2 first. Uh, yeah. Come on. Very nice. I didn't actually notice that this artillery had an entrenchment of one, so... Thank God there was no rugged defense. And now I am a little bit concerned about this panther. Since I'm not sure... If this lightning will probably survive everything and, you know... Even though it would be... Very nice to have a panther close to this artillery. I think we should play it safe and, you know, place it here. This artillery has a spotting of one, so perhaps this panther will not be seen. Yeah. And we'll also protect it with our naval warfare, which in turn will be protected by this flag. Flak. Such a strange word. Flak. Flak, flak. Flak. Sorry. Okay. Destroy. Very nice. 306 of prestige. We move here. Just to be on a safe side, and I would just love, you know, for some idiot bomber to or fighter to attack this naval warfare first interceptors, then flak, you know, flak. Okay, enough, Mr. Critic. Focus on the game. Um, that was the sound of me uh, hitting myself on the head, you know, because I was naughty. <laughs> okay, probably time to save again. Okay. Cobra 009. What else can we do? Ah, here we have an, a unique opportunity to probably reach the artillery that was stationed here for a long, long time. And we'll do it, since artilleries are now our priority targets in the area, because no more armor is around. At least I hope so, you know, because 
when you see infantry is facing your armor then you can assume that the enemy has no armor in the area so now we go here ah gotcha <laughs> sorry and it didn't retreat which is actually good because now it will not be able to reinforce fully as for these bridge engineers first we'll shell them most definitely since if we attack directly you see we have a problem Houston so mm some good luck maybe nope again okay. some good luck now now we are talking and yeah. not sure you know um, if we use the last ammo of this heavy artillery then we can probably also take care of these bridge engineers mm. but it would be still very dangerous to go inside the city with our armor and now I wish these infantry were here, you know. Mm. Yeah. But since we still need prestige, uh, these bridge engineers are extremely expensive compared to, you know, uh, these heavy weapons infantry and these paratroopers. So if we destroy them, this is a really good bonus for us. Uh, so will pull our artillery back after it since I'm not sure how things will go here so okay bridge engineers time for you to die okay here ammo of this guy too okay two range three what is here I'm wondering probably nothing but you can never be sure there is somebody in the city of Khan most definitely <coughs> usually uh, the AI always uses, you know, um, an anti-tank of a sort to <coughs> to hold the victory objectives. But you know, it is not always the case. This is not always the case, so we'll have to be careful. Um, yeah. So we can probably attack with our Panther A. So yes, Steph, sorry. Uh, I have decided to finish the job with the British first, then we'll send... <coughs> <coughs> sorry. If necessary, of course, we'll send our tanks against the Americans. But here we have a lot of, you know, free prestige just waiting for us to take it. And the temptation, you know, is just too much for me. So will attack some losses are expected but you know firing at the same time bad and <laughs> the bastard didn't even retreat oh my god Nashorn. 
probably yes uh, since you know if we use it here it will be in range of this artillery and it's not a good idea so we have Nashorn 2-4 but please this time fire first come on no, firing at the same time again. Well, at least we destroyed the fuckers, you know. <laughs> okay, uh, time to save again, since now I will have to, you know, coordinate um, attacking uh, these fighters and, you know, you know, British stuff. And also protecting our armor uh, for the next turn. So save Cobra zero zero nine, and like I said, time for a little pause. Uh, yo, I'm back. Um, just wanted to say uh, today I've. Or was it yesterday? I'm not sure. But I've heard a really funny racist joke. Uh, and I cannot tell you, no, the joke, <laughs> because probably I would get banned from YouTube. Uh, why? You know, because I was replying to Carol uh, and wanted to write as a joke, of course, uh, something you know, uh, first part of the phrase that goes "zik," you know what? Uh, and I was informed by. YouTube filters that I have to change my picture, my avatar, before I can write Zik. <laughs> can you imagine? You know, where is, is this world going, you know? Uh, when you cannot even, you know, joke about, uh, you know, the past and um, everything, you know? I think it is important that we can joke even about very serious things since it relieves tension. Uh, I'm talking about the jokes, of course, that don't insult uh, anyone, or at least, you know, the normal people, mm, those who are extra sensitive, will always be offended by something, you know. Um, <laughs> I remember watching, uh, I believe it was uh, uh, Dave Chappelle, uh, he's m one of my favorite uh, stand-up comedians, and he said that white people, you know, are, uh, and he was joking, of course, he's a comedian, that they were getting, you know, really subtle about um, using uh, no, uh, bad words about black people. They don't do not say the N-word anymore, but they say, uh, would you like some vinegar <laughs> you know? and this is the way to go I think you know uh, we have to start joking we have to forget about the past you know it was terrible I know you know uh, <sighs> never mind uh, just you know it feels so f fucking ridiculous that I know this excellent joke and I yeah I can't tell you <laughs> but then probably some idiot will ban me so I can send you a personal message if you are interested about it <laughs> just let me know anyway uh, we were in a process of attacking this um, heavy weapons British infantry and I have decided to attack with Panther D first since Otherwise, if we are extremely successful with our Panther 4J, which is unlikely, but still, uh, we would have to advance with our Panther D, and it means that we cannot protect it with our air defenses, since they are in range of this artillery. So, having said that, we'll attack and bring a Panther G somewhere here. Oh, hmm, completely forgot. I have not yet moved this air defense. So probably now it is time to start attacking the Spitfires. So 
So I guess you will die first. Uh, or not. Hmm. Uh, give me a second. Yeah. Yeah. No, actually, because uh, we need both of these air defenses to protect this um, um, anti-tank gun in a transport. So no, no. Uh, yeah. Okay, we attack, and we stay put. Even though I would very much like to move the unit, but. And then this uh, artillery will be in a really shit, uh, shitty situation. What if, since we will not be able to destroy this lightning and this typhoon, what if we just, you know, move here? Yeah, sure. And then we attack this Spitfire. Yeah, this should work. We attack the Spitfire. Wow. Move here, so double protection again applies. And triple protection for this artillery, so yeah. I'm so smart. So very, very smart. I won the games. This is from Master of Olympus, so when your philosophers are victorious at Isthmian games. Also, one of my favorite uh, games. But no, games, games. Uh, but not really good for an LP since they, uh, they you know, it takes too long to play Master of Olympus and it is not very interesting if you are just watching it. So, Master of Olympus will not be my next LP. Sorry! <laughs> now for uh, this Inf here, we have to move it away. Where to place it? Hmm... Here, probably. Yeah, or maybe... No, here, here, okay. And now we destroy the Spitfire. <coughs> ah! Fuck you. But we need to finish the job, so... Uh, we'll use our least experienced air defense to do it. So... And then we have three more to attack uh, this Spitfire. Too bad, if we had four, I would be sure, you know, in our success, but now I'm not. <coughs> yeah. And we move here and provide triple protection for uh, these two artilleries, double for this one, and also, you know. We are close to punish any attack on our Panther A here. Speaking of Panther A... Oh! Oh, again, my bad. Ah, shit.
I wanted also, you know, to bring uh, this air defense closer to our pent ray after attacking uh, the Spitfire, but now, <laughs> now I'm worried about this anti-tank gun. Time for another pause. I have to think. Well, I know the priority is to, uh, you know, keep our Panther A alive, but maybe we can do it without bringing our air defense closer. So another pause. Be right back. Uh, yo, I'm back, and even though I took my time, you know, to do some other things, I have decided like three seconds after pausing the recording of course we have to protect our panther you know um, this flak uh, oh, yeah flak anti-tank gun but you know I still get confused um, <coughs> yeah it would be bad to lose it but it's strength of two needing a lot of prestige to you know be brought back it is really nothing like our panther so we'll just attack the spitfire and move here oh come on now we're getting really low on ammo Firing constantly at the enemy's air units does that, you know? I'm sure you didn't. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Can you please kill this Spitfire? And we can stay put, probably. Or maybe... is a tempting target definitely so huh it's not such a bad idea also you know to bring our panther D here just in case some of the Americans you know were getting an idea to attack us here so yeah yeah just to play it safely first I will attack this inf and move here yeah okay Very good result. But maybe we can actually move here. Since uh, this flag has a lot of ammo and this only one. Hmm. not my day really sorry folks what I know for sure we do not want to take back uh, the non-victory objective of Falay no no stay here stay here you will be needed on the next turn stay here Uh, now we'll attack again and then we'll bypass uh, uh, the these paratroopers perhaps they will be dummy dumb enough to attack our air defense which I would you know very much like for them to do
everything went according to the projected losses so now we are here and please kill this Spitfire now die <coughs> No, we are just not lucky enough. Too bad. Was hoping for another kill. It would be a great boost to our prestige and everything, but no. Just doesn't work. So, this is the last attempt and some really good luck is needed. No, I guess not. Okay, uh, so we'll save it. Cobra 009 and now check what else can we do. Ah, you here can park in Amiens. You are in Paris. Hilton. <laughs> Uh, and we have still four units to move and quite a lot of prestige I'm really tempted you know to purchase a fighter here it would not only be good you know for our um, for the defense of the city of Nant, but also for spotting purposes. And I'm positive that the enemy has been purchasing new lightnings even as we speak or I speak and you listen. <laughs> Such a difficult choice. <sighs> Fighter costs a lot. But, and this is a really big but, I like big buts and I cannot lie. Mm -hmm. So, we bring Yacht Panther here. A tiger. No, we bring it here. I just want to create a barrier. Sorry for all the strange talking. Uh, so. If you go here, you block the axis most definitely. And then our tiger can go. Hmm. Oh, one more boss, sorry. I uh, you know just just to figure out how to create the barrier. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh yeah, this is the way to go. It was, you know, only um, mechanics did not want to bother you with it. So, this Yak Panther goes here. Our Tiger 2 goes here. And this Yak Panther goes here. So, Access to the victory objective of Nant is completely blocked because of the zone of control. And yeah, probably because I'm feeling, you know, maybe too optimistic, but 
in any case very optimistic and I think we'll need another fighter I will purchase another one uh, it would be probably a better idea to purchase an anti-tank perhaps even two more yeah we can afford two JP elephants and I'm still thinking about purchasing a fighter uh, no 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 F forget ab about it you know uh, forget about what I said uh, uh, it would be excellent to have a fighter here but uh, no I'll go for two uh, uh, JP elephants instead uh, it is better you know I was bragging a lot about you know how to that I will win this scenario and now to throw away my chances by purchasing a fighter that actually costs more than two JP elephants no no thank you really no thank you um, so two JP elephants will join us now one here and the other one here forget it I don't want to risk it I came so far you know uh, here and I uh, think I did a good job and everything so no I don't want to spoil it now but one thing I will do since we have lost so many uh, uh, casualties. Uh, check the casualties. Uh, we are clearly winning. One fighter now traded for 10 of the enemy's aircraft. And also, you know, other things are going very well. I will probably now uh, <laughs> yeah, I will give um, this infantry a transport uh, it was now that I look back it was dumb you know to bring them back to the victory objectives but sometimes Cobra doesn't go well and it is good to have <coughs> units guarding the objectives so just let me check if it is worth it uh, one two three four Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three turns just to get near. No, it's not worth it actually. In three turns, everything will be over pretty much. So, time to save the game. Cobra. Zero zero nine. Weather fair and dry. Casualty we have seen, but just in case, if you missed it, <laughs> uh, yeah. And I need another pause before I comment. You know, the Allied turn. So be right back. Okay. Back for the final thingy why the fuck did you survive you bastard uh, anyway now we have five extra powerful extra armored units defending the city of Nantes so Americans wherever you are Come get some. <laughs> Let me check the defenses. Mm, yeah. Let us give the enemy its turn. Oh shit. Just please survive. Thank you. 
bloody lightnings, I hate them. Oh, he has brought his level bombers here. Okay. And another level bomber. Good. Please survive. Thank you. X is turn 7 with 19 turns remaining. New equipment available. No, thank you. Again, no, thank you. I uh, think again we did not lose a single unit, if I'm correct. Just let me check what happened here. Ah, now we are out of ammo. And the airfield and the city of Argentan are neutralized or destroyed, if you prefer. And there is a lightning here. Ah, here in the south. This is what I love. What? Why? Why can I see this unit? I was noticing this before when I was, you know, studying uh, the battlefield. That ah. <laughs> this is what I was waiting for, Carl. This is the meat, and we'll eat it, you know. <laughs> And by the way, uh, when I said uh, uh, there are some brave men knocking at our doors, let's go kill them, I was actually referring uh, to the episode of Game of Thrones. Uh, I'm not sure if you know uh, when uh, Peter Dink Dinklage, the actor, says it, you know, uh, Tyrion Lannister, the imp, you know. Let's go kill them! And now they have arrived and we have, you know, five... Five units that can just chew them up, you know, uh, so... Wah. But here... You know, there are... And also here, as you can see, no reason for us to see what is going on, but... Probably we have, you know, some... Uh, traitors <laughs> in France who are uh, reporting to us. Uh, no reason to see uh, what is going on here and here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so... Also no reason for me to be quiet about it. Uh, this is an Axis major victory, most definitely. Um, there is no way the enemy can defeat us now. Um, yeah, we'll have a lot of fun destroying enemy units in transports <laughs> around the victory objective of Nantes. And if somebody decides, you know, to go for the city of Orléans, we'll have to also purchase, I don't know, one um, anti-tank gun, perhaps one or two reckons, but. Yeah, we have one. So, the only thing <laughs> I'm worried about is taking these two objectives back. Not back, because now they do not belong to anyone since they are both destroyed, but... Wow, zero if we attack. So we'll take one back, bring a fighter closer, provoke this freaking level bomber to attack. I hate level bombers. I don't use them. Well, a couple of them I do because of the air defenses, but they are a waste of prestige. Mm.
what else can we say? Uh, casualties again. As you can probably see, we are not losing our units anymore. We are only destroying enemy units and probably this trend will continue. So let us just save this. Just in case. so happy about it you know I was <laughs> I was so freaking afraid of Cobra as an LP because it is difficult you know even if you do it uh, in your own home and have plenty of time but actually we'll win this wow wow um, and you know uh, now that I thought about it I will change my avatar to a Barbie girl and then I I will be able you know to write some nasty stuff about Zeke something and racist jokes because somebody actually dislikes the picture of Rommel and again I will say he was not a bad guy he was actually very honorable and if he had lived through World War two and this is from the Western historians. He would not be. He would not even be charged, you know. At court, uh, at at the court at Nuremberg, because he did not commit any war crimes. He was. He was a man of honor. Um, okay, now I start. I started babbling again. So, uh, thank you for watching this. All the best from Mr. Critic, and bye bye.